Okay, so today LS Lab released Mojo Motor, and I just wanted to give you a quick tour uh, to show you some of the things that you can do with it. And uh, I actually have a site that's been running on Mojo Motor since last month, and that is here, that is my book site. So the book, of course, is about Expression Engine 2, and the site originally uh, ran Expression Engine 2, but when Mojo Motor uh, came out in a private beta, I decided that this was actually the perfect site for a real-world implementation. As you can see, this site is literally the home page and this additional resources page, and that's all there is to it. And it's all static content. There's no blog. There's no 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 uh, you know dynamic content like that. It's all just stuff that just stays the same. It's literally a brochure site or a marketing site. So it's a perfect candidate for uh, using Mojo Motor. And so that's what I did is I uh, made it a Mojo Motor site. So I wanted to go ahead and just do a quick run through of how I have this working. So when you're logged in, you get this little uh, arrow tab here that you can click on, and that reveals the uh, you know admin overlay here. And you can see also my content areas have been highlighted. And these are the areas that I've specified uh, as editable through Mojo Motor. And so all you do is just click on one, and it gives you this editor. And so I can uh, change something. I can say, get inspired to build uh, to learn to build amazing websites with Expression Engine. And I can click Save. And uh, that is all there is to it. If I wanted to just, you know, go back into regular mode, I can do that. You know, you can reload, and and there's uh, there are your changes. So clicking back here again, I have all these areas as editable. I can edit my bio if I want to, and if I wanted to be really particular about the HTML that's being used, you can click source, and I can edit the source. And the buttons that appear here are actually configurable. Uh, in the config file, so I can actually make other buttons appear or disappear. I think source, uh, I don't think it's there by default anymore. So, um, you know, it's something that you can enable and just cancel to get out of it. Uh, this here is the main navigation, and this actually is uh, dynamically generated based on the pages I have created. And let's go ahead and look at the pages. So here are the two pages, home and additional resources. And you can add uh, child pages below each one or you can just add a top level page here. And uh, pages, when you create a page, we'll go ahead and edit the home page. You can see that you have to use a, base it on a layout. And layouts, uh, think of layouts as your templates and pages as your, as your pages, uh, if you're talking in terms of expression engine. So uh, we can go over here to, uh, to layouts and I have two layouts. I have one for my content pages, which is right now just a single page for additional resources. And I have my home page. And uh, here you just click and you can edit through. Uh, if you want to look at the, the tags that Mojo Motor uses, um, you just use these div tags and you give it a, a class of Mojo page region. And then that is the uh, dynamic content that is editable. And uh, and I could do the same thing. I could actually make a global region uh, here for the footer if I wanted to, and uh, so that it's uh, editable uh, site-wide. So uh, the other stuff you can do is uh, members, of course. You can create new members uh, with uh, member groups. Uh, settings, just for the basic stuff for the site name, uh, language, theme. And the utilities, of course, right now is just this export to Expression Engine 2 which is great. So if this site, if I decide that I want to move this site to Expression Engine, back to Expression Engine 2 because it grows and I want to add a blog and, and maybe some other uh, stuff that requires more than, than just Mojo Motor, I have a nice upgrade path to Expression Engine 2. And uh, so that's really all there is uh, to it. Um, it's, it's really simple to use. Um, you can just uh, you know go through and, and, and find your content and click on it and edit it. And then when you're done editing it, you uh, you save it, and you can preview it and, and make sure everything looks how you want. So that's Mojo Motor uh, running the uh, the the Expression Engine book website that I have. If uh, if you if you haven't checked out Mojo Motor, you should. Um, it's forty nine ninety five, and they have a I think they have a thirty day uh, money back guarantee. So if for some reason um, you you don't like it. 
I think it's uh, I think it's a good it's a, it's a good uh, CMS to use for running very simple sites that don't require a blog or any type of uh, of uh, content like that, uh, and just for static pages, it's great. So I'm thinking it'd be great for um, you know if you build micro sites or, or mini sites for marketing campaigns and things like that. Mojo Motor is definitely a good way to go. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that quick uh, walkthrough of Mojo Motor.